Good morning, friends, and happy Way in Wednesday. It is a happy Way in Wednesday for me. Yes, it is. It was my birthday week, but I stayed focused. I had my indulgent birthday meal, and that was it. I had an indulgent meal. I did not have an indulgent day, an indulgent week, an indulgent month. I had an indulgent meal, and guess what? I did fine. I used all my weeklies on it. It was delicious. Um, I had dessert. For me, you know, ice cream's my jam, so that's what I wanted as like my birthday cake. I wanted ice cream, so Doug and I went to our favorite homemade ice cream shop, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't even get an extra small like I always do. I got a small. It was actually too much, and I felt sick afterwards, but oh my gosh, it was so good. Um, and I still managed to lose two pounds this week. Yep. I just, I was in the zone this week. I just, I, I loved all the food I ate. I felt satisfied. I felt satiated. And yeah, I, I just hope it keeps carrying over because, you know, this stubborn little five pounds that I want to get off me. I mean, I'm still okay. I'm still under goal, but I'd like to be at my happy place with that. Um, you know, my body's changing and I know that things have shifted. I've said that before. Um, I never carried this much weight around my midsection and I am now. And I know it's hormonal. I've read about it. I've heard other people talk about it. I accept it. It's fine. As long as I am happy with myself, as long as I am healthy and feel good, that's what matters. Health comes first for me. So, with that out of the way, my two pound loss. Yes, I'm happy about it. Can you tell? Um, let's get on to the WW Weekly. This week is boost your confidence. Self-efficacy is the confidence we have in our ability to do something or develop a skill. A powerful force in our WW experience. The more self-efficacy we have in accomplishing a certain goal, the more likely we are to make those first key steps towards it. What to do? Think about a goal you want to work toward. Then increase your self-efficacy with the technique that inspires you the most. I had no idea the word efficacy was even a word. Nope, no idea. So. I'm learning something new from this. And you know I haven't been thrilled about the WW topics. So it's the confidence we have in our ability to do something. And that is 100% true. We need the confidence to do it. We can't just say, I'm going to do it, but I'm sure I'm going to fail. Or I'm going to try to do it, but I don't think it's going to happen. We need to have that confidence in our ability. Because sometimes, you know, with just like weight loss, mindset is 95% of it. If your mind's in the right place, you can accomplish anything. So they give a couple ideas to meet your goal. First, think about the goal you want to achieve. And then work towards it. Number one, hit small achievements. Many successes can help develop our confidence. So choose one truly doable step to take this week. That's key, a doable step. If you're not quite confident in your master chef abilities yet, start by focusing on learning to cook one simple meal. And like I, I'm going to go back to when I started to run. I didn't go out and run a 5K or a marathon the first day. I took the little steps. I did the couch to 5K app. I think the first day I maybe ran a total of three minutes because it's like run 30 seconds, walk for a minute, run 15 seconds, walk for five minutes or something like that. I don't remember the exact formula for it, but it's taking little steps and hitting those little steps and making them work to get to your biggest goal. You know, if you jump in and say, I'm doing Weight Watchers and I want to lose 100 pounds, that's all you're going to see is that 100 pounds. You're not going to see that one pound that you lost this week and the one pound that you lost next week 
and the one pound that you lost the week after that. If you focus on those smaller numbers, they add up. If you lose one pound a week, that's 52 pounds in a year. Eating what you love and loving what you eat. Not starving yourself and not eating like crazy stuff that you're never gonna eat the rest of your life that you're just trying to eat to lose weight. Um, so just focus on the small. If you have any amount of weight you have to lose, if you have to lose 20 pounds, focus on a pound at a, at a time. If you have to lose 100 pounds, focus on two or three or five pounds at a time. Focus on those little goals because when you hit those little goals, you're just, your self-confidence is going to soar. Number two, see others succeed. Look for inspiration from the people you relate to. Watching others hit accomplishments increases our belief that we can also be successful. Run, and this is what they talk about. Running a 5K, find inspiration from a friend who started at a similar fitness level, not someone who runs marathons. Yep. And that's what I did with WW. You know, when I went to my first meeting, I looked around and thought, okay, who, who has been successful that was kind of the same size as me? Because I mean, and let me tell you, any amount of weight loss is a great amount of weight loss. But there were some ladies in my meeting who needed to lose 10 or 12 pounds. And it's hard when you have that little amount to lose, I think. But I couldn't relate to that because I needed to lose 65 pounds. So I needed to find someone I could relate to. And that's what I did. And, you know, that's, I found people on YouTube. I found people on Facebook and things like that. I looked to people that were successful and I looked to see what they did to be successful. And then I took from them what I could and left the rest. But there's something you can take from almost anyone. Um, maybe not everything because everybody's got a different style of doing this plan. And you have to do what works for you in the long run. And you have to do what you're able to do forever. That's key. So find someone who inspires you and find someone who will be your cheerleader. And that's, that's huge. Number three, feel more balanced. Keep an eye on your emotions. If you're worried or tense, your brain will interpret it as a lack of confidence. Relieving tension and building excitement can help us feel more determined and therefore more likely to succeed. Try deep breathing or dancing to your favorite amp up song. I'll tell you, I know for sure <laughs> that that works and I'm gonna reference running again and I'm sorry, but that's kind of what, you know. Um, last Thanksgiving, we did, me and my sister and my brother-in-law and Adam um, and another friend did a turkey trot on Thanksgiving morning. And last Thanksgiving was like a hurricane. It was so windy last Thanksgiving. It was absolutely crazy windy. And where was this 5K turkey trot? It was right along the river. What happens when you're along water? It's a lot windier. And it was a hard run. Um, the, the beginning of the run was very hard because it ran right along the river. The middle wasn't too bad because we were up land a little bit. But the last like three quarters of a mile, mile was again right along the river. That first starting out wasn't too bad because, you know, you're fresh and you're excited and everybody's like in a big group together and the energy is there. But then that last three quarters of a mile to a mile, everybody's spread out. I mean you're practically alone sometimes, you know, whether you're in the front of the group, the back of the group, or even in the middle of the group, everybody's spread out. So that energy is not quite there. And you've already ran, you know, two and a half miles. So you're getting a little tired, especially when you're running against the wind, like we were. Um, so I'll never forget. And I was listening to music um, as I was running. I know serious runners tell you not to do that because it messes up your cadence. I have to listen to something. Um, and right when I hit, right when I made the turn to start going along the river and I knew it was going to be the hardest part of the run, the song Eye of the Tiger came on. And I'm sorry. I know I'm an 80s girl. That is like the biggest amp up pump up song for me. Can I tell you that like 
pushed my butt. I didn't care how windy it was. I didn't care how tired it was. I didn't care that I had to finish uphill. It just motivated me. And I ended up having on not a great condition day for running. I ended up having my best 5K time ever. And I know, I know it was that like last mile because of that song. So something like silly like that, it just gave me confidence. You know, I, I thought about the song and I thought about the rhythm and it gave me the confidence to finish strong. So yeah, if you have a favorite song that really amps you up and you're having a rough day, put it on, move around your house, have some fun with it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Number four, get encouragement. Surround yourself with friends and family who trust you trust to believe in you and your abilities or try being your own cheerleader. Have a go-to friend on speed dial you can call on for a confidence boost or try writing yourself a positive note, 100%. And I'm gonna tell you, if you need a cheerleader, I am here for you. I am here for you. I have had so many people email me and message me who just needed encouragement or who maybe for a week or two or three needed an accountability partner. I had one woman who was struggling and every day, at the end of the day, she would um, Facebook message me her a uh, tracker for the day, exactly what she ate and stuff like that. And that gave her accountability. Now, if she had a bad day, would I ever say, ah, you blew it. What a bad day. Absolutely not. I'd say, hey, you know what? You And, and she would say, you know, oh, I had a bad day. No, you didn't. You had a normal day. Just maybe tomorrow back off on the whatever or, you know, whatever. So if you need some encouragement, please email me, message me, leave a comment below because I will be your cheerleader. I will. I, you know how I feel about this program. You know how I feel about this and I will be there to encourage you no matter what you need. So, and I still, I mean, yes, I've been lifetime for two years, but I still don't have it all together. I've got rough days and I have my go-tos, you know, I, I'm having a rough day. I call Kim or text Kim. I'm having a rough day or there's, you know, a big bowl of queso staring me in the face. I shoot Denise a text or, and, and you know, like they bring you back down. Or if I screw up, they're like, you know what? You're not going to gain 65 pounds back by having an extra serving of ice cream. Just, you know, cut the cord on that now. So find a cheerleader, find a cheerleader, find someone who will be truthful with you but also be kind to you because you don't want somebody who's just going to say every day, you know, if, if you go over your points by 10 or 20 every day, you don't want somebody who's just going to say, Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You're going to need somebody to give you a little bit of tough love. And I like to do that. <laughs> so anyway, find your cheerleader. So that is the, the weekly for this week. And the recipe on the back is pasta with creamy broccoli sauce. It is eight points on green, eight points on blue, and three points on purple when you use whole wheat pasta. And it actually looks really good. Um, it calls for chickpea pasta. No way am I using that. Um, I would use, for me on purple, I would use whole wheat pasta. And if I was on green or whatever, it's still the same amount of points. I would just use regular pasta or my Ronzoni 150 or the Cremette 150. That's only four points for two ounces. Um, but it looks pretty good. I might have to put that on my rotation because we love pasta. We love broccoli and we love chicken. So I might have to try that out. So thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope this helped you even just a little bit. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you gain your confidence, your self-efficacy. New word. Can't imagine I'll ever use it again. Um, and what else? You know the deal. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. It amazes me that 48% of the people that watch my channel aren't subscribed to my channel. So if you can, it really does help me out. It helps me out with YouTube. Um, you know, it puts my videos more as recommended for other people and that helps my channel out. So if you could just take a minute to hit that subscribe button, 
I would totally appreciate it. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your weigh-in was this week. And if you know anyone that could use some help, use some encouragement, and that this video might help, please feel free to share it on your social media. Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you very shortly.